Why I wanted to come here to the port of Antwerp is because this is one of the biggest ports in the world where massive amounts of agricultural products are being imported into the EU. This can be soy for animal feed, this can be fruits and vegetables, and they may actually contain traces of pesticides that are banned in the EU. At the same time, toxic pesticides that are banned are being produced here and exported to other parts of the world. You have the plants of the biggest chemical corporations in the world here, BASF and Bayer, that both are producing pesticides for export that are banned in the EU. For instance, Bayer produces uh, Ciflutrin, which is an insecticide that is highly toxic uh, to aquatic life and is neurotoxic for humans. We've been looking at the trade of pesticides that are banned in Europe uh, and what we found was quite shocking. So in 2018, uh, we found uh, more than 40 different chemicals banned in Europe that were exported to other countries. And in total, uh, we're talking about more than 80,000 tons of uh, banned pesticides. Trinta por cento do volume global de, de venda de agrotóxicos é feita por, por empresas com sede aqui na União Europeia e essas empresas vendem para países como o Brasil substâncias que são proibidas aqui. Last year we looked at the sales of highly hazardous pesticides by the major uh, pesticide companies in the world. Uh, what we found is that those companies, they make about one third of their income with the so-called highly hazardous pesticides. It gives you an idea about um, the business model of those companies that um, love to present themselves as um, <clears throat> responsible companies that care about sustainable development, but they make about one third of the money with those very dangerous pesticides classified as highly hazardous and that for the most part have been for a long time banned in Europe. Isso é algo inaceitável, é antiético, porque isso afeta diretamente a saúde das pessoas no Brasil e nos outros países do Mercosul, afeta diretamente a nossa saúde e o nosso meio ambiente. Nós tivemos no Brasil entre 2010 e 2019, nos últimos 10 anos, 56 mil pessoas intoxicadas com agrotóxico de uso agrícola. E esses casos é, reportados são apenas 2% do total. Pesticide corporations in Europe, so Syngenta, Basef, Bayer, they work together to overturn a plan that the EU had to ban mm -hmm. residues mm -hmm. of substances that are not allowed here uh -huh. in the imports, mm -hmm. which makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what would that have what would that mean uh -huh. for Brazil? It could be good for Brazil and uh, the countries from Mercosul in this case because of economic reasons they will stop to use this kind of products like Paraquati, Fipronil and other products like that that are banned here. The social and the environmental standards are also perceived by our trade partners as barriers to trade. We should have negotiated that those partners would commit not to attack us if we decide in Europe in a democratic way that we want to take a measure to protect the health of the citizen or the environment, like, you know, uh, forbidding uh, glyphosate, for example. But we did not do that. The European negotiators did not even try to, to get this commitment from the trade partners. As a result, by signing those agreements, we offer them even more the opportunity to say, you can attack us, guys. The EU has now decided, with the Green New Deal and with the Farm to Fork strategy, that it wants to vastly reduce the use and the risk of pesticide use. So they should take their responsibility internationally as well.